Welcome back to Let's Play Doom. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we are here in the heart of the Argent Tower, where I've just slaughtered many, many dudes. Shout out to Torik00, who, uh, I'm just gonna read this, who left a comment saying, I appreciate your encyclopedic knowledge of the Doom franchise pre-2016. I envision you as a massively armored tour guide. In a weird way, that's one of the most flattering things anyone's ever said about me. Uh. I noticed this just before I started recording. What are you doing? Oh. That has not accomplished anything, though. I kind of figured I would do that and would do something that would have killed Mancubus, but, you know. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes much more sense. No? No? There aren't three settings? <laughs> you know, I gotta say, I am more than a little disappointed that uh, Mancubus just makes, like, sort of generic uh, growling and roaring noises in this game. Because, you know, say what you will about Doom 3's monster design, and I know they were pretty liberal about some of the classics. I don't know what I'm doing, this is happening. Do I have to walk into that? The accumulator's energy signature indicates that it is nearing the top of this Argent facility. Thank if she you, ruptures Vega. that accumulator near the Argent beam, she could open up to their world and we will never be able to close. I'm wondering if it's just never going to stop facing me. Well, with the, the, the beam actually exposed to me. What is that? Oh, I do remember that. That was a, yeah. Uh, fair enough, it's a healing station. That's fine. Oh, everything is great. Yeah, say what you will about the monster design from Doom 3, but I knew the Moncubi were coming in that game before they uh, ever showed up because I recognized the noise they made from the classic Doom game. Sort of weird throaty noise like that. They didn't even have lips in Doom 3 to make that noise. They had tentacles instead of mouths in that one. Okay! startled me. And I wasn't even looking the right way. Alright, how do I get up? Do I jump on top of that thing and try not to die, or...? I think I catch that lip of that thing as it's lifting up? I don't want to be in the way of that. Maybe I jump on top of that once it's in position, huh? Uh. 
safe levels. Lockdown. That guy's not having a great day. That guy doesn't remember what it's like to have a great day. Let's go this way, in contradiction of the uh, design of that thing. Break his arm for no reason and then kill him. They're infighting. It does exist. Well, you don't like this, do you? Uh oh. your friend's head and there's nothing you can do about it. I wonder if I could activate that and have it like punch out and kill some dudes or something. I had it in my hand, okay? Okay. Excuse me. Don't worry, I got there in time. Actually, what if I... How do you like it? Called an estimated guess, or an estimated guess, no, an educated guess from uh, my encyclopedic knowledge. <laughs> Where does this go anyway? Up here. All right, I'll stop messing with that until after the combat scenario. Get the glowy green thing, and obviously, but first. The road to hell is paved by Argent Energy. I'm sure it is. Drones. That's what I thought those were. I'll just take that. Ah, 
Aha! And now I can chainsaw five things that are very small. Oh, by the way, uh, shout out to Ragnarok1945 for clarifying for me that uh, when it refers to this thing, stun and stagger are two different effects. Stagger is the one where you can tear people limb from limb, and you cannot accomplish that uh, without damaging them in some way. Can be drawn to review, resume fuel cell transfer. Well, that seems very helpful indeed. The road to hell is paved by Argent Energy. Right, I'll find out. Ah! <laughs> well, what in the hell are you? Oh. Okay, that would have been very helpful a minute ago. Invulnerability. When it is absorbed, the stimulant diffuses argent plasma to the basal layer below the dermis, creating a tough film of bioplasma beneath the skin that protects the user from external attacks. This can make the demon almost entirely invulnerable until the plasma has been dissipated through repeated punishment. The bioplasma comes into direct contact with the nerve cells beneath the skin, which causes excruciating pain throughout the process. This increases the likelihood that, in the throes of agonizing torment, the mindless demon will try to attack targets that are clearly beyond their ability. Environmental resistance of self-preservation. Yes, please. I have. God fucking damn it. Look down there. There's a uh, goddamn friend there. I don't even know if I can get there from up here anymore. How did I get up, anyway? Not through there, that's for goddamn sure. Oops. I did not mean to click the mouse. Alright, fine. Fine, you win. Up I go. And I missed a room trial somewhere. What am I goddamn doing? Fold down underneath me. Oh.
God, they didn't fill this area with bullshit. Uh oh! <laughs> she startled me. Well played. Oh no, I'm going to be crushed by immense machinery. That's a very primal feeling. Why is nothing ever easy? They may be fancy nether demons, but they still need their goddamn heads. Nice. I was really hoping that would happen. way up in the air by uh, my own momentum. That's a physical object. Great! It disappeared that time. Stand very still up here. Nope for the best. Oh. God. Fucking. get to that? That's a new one. My combat rating isn't amazing for this uh, level. Normally I've filled them up by now, I think. Great. I don't get it. I don't even see the rune trial up here. Oh, they've just placed me in front of the door. Great. this doesn't work, I can try to find my way back. I mean, not this, well, I was gonna say not this time, but, Ah! Uh. You just bar 
barbecued meat. I like to think that the reason they do that is that, uh... The material of a demon's body is so filled with caustic chemicals and horrible things that as soon as it isn't alive, and as soon as the magic of hell isn't holding everything into, uh... Perfect alignment. Nice. Oof. I have to go up in smoke. They don't usually surrender like that, which is a new one. Right! I've been meaning to do more of that, haven't I? Shit. Well, there's the timer, so, uh, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you in the next episode of Let's Play Doom. And I hopefully get my hands on this rune trial. Hopefully it doesn't completely destroy me, and, you know, we make our way to the, uh, top of the tower and save the world. Later! <laughs>